Walker, Duran, Mayweather, uh, Triple G, uh, who else? Travis Senior, and Don. Mike Tyson, Holyfield, Ryan Lennon. What was it like? Amazing. It's, uh, somebody from, from Australia to be up on that stage, it makes me very proud. Well, you know, hopefully, I made Australia proud as well. What do you tell all your fans who are watching? Who are, we're so happy to see you back in the mix. Ah, I'm really, really proud. I'm honored. It's always great to get those accolades, you know, after your sport and uh, to be on stage with um, you know, a group of champions uh, like that last night. I'm, I'm very honored. I'm proud. Tyson and Holyfield, some of the best heavyweights ever. Uh, we have here a fighter, 22 and 19 knockouts. Jeff, how far do you see Big Daddy going? Teddy's, um, you know, just scratched the surface at the moment. He's had 22 fights, and I'm very, very confident that he's going to get better each time now. And um, with what he's doing at the moment, I think that he can go all the way. Why do Australians hit so hard? Uh, you'll have to ask the big fella. He hits much harder than me. I, I grew up eating my wheat bix so it might have been the wheat bix yeah, the, the breakfast cereal. So let let me see the fist. Can you imagine getting hit with one of those? I could imagine. Yeah. <laughs> He grew up a boxing fan. What about Jeff that makes him so special, such a legend? Number one is Australia. So different played into it. But it's just the way that he fought, the tenacity, the, the, the fierceness, everything else. There was no sort of taking it back on step, you know what I mean? So for, for someone like me, I grew up watching Tyson, obviously heavyweights, things like that. So it's the same sort of um, the same sort of feel about it, you know what I mean? Where there's no back on step, you just go for it. Big Daddy, what do you think of the current heavyweight division? I think it's um, Besides Klitschko, obviously, Klitschko is the, is the man, he's, yeah, he's been there for 10 years and everything else, but I think there's a lot of uh, good potential coming through. I think if Klitschko were, was to actually vacate, uh, or yeah, retire, whatever it may be, I think the whole heavyweight division will blow up in a big way. But um, at the moment, I think it's, it's getting better. I think 2015 is going to be a massive year. What do you think of Wilder versus Tavern? I think Wilder's got a big mouth. I think he's had a little, little bit of a padded uh, record, you know what I mean? 32-0 with 32 knockouts, but if I had the same quality opponents, I'd be knocking them all out as well. Stavern might do the job on him, and then I'll, I'll be ready to step up for that one. Nice. Floyd Mayweather said yesterday, I'm focused on Manny Pacquiao. I want to fight in May 2nd. What do you guys respond to? I think I, I, I'd, like, I'd love that fight. Of course, everyone would love that fight. But I think Mayweather's got that fight. Yeah, it's yeah, so over you. I mean, listen, everybody, Floyd had the right to say what he had. If he thought that you know, Manny was you know, like doing things that were illegal, Floyd. The right to stand up and, and ask for a, a clean bill of health for both of them. I believe that. Man, look, it's going to be a great fight. Styles make fights, but you know, without doubt, Floyd's done you know, an amazing job over the years. He's, um, he's to me, he's an ornament to the sport. Um, he looks after his friends and his, his family. He's a, he's a great man. He's a great fighter. When you fought, which opponent, either sparring or fighting, hit the hardest? Victor Calais. Uh, he hit me in the first round in one of my fights, and it was maybe the hardest I've been. How about you? Mark Hunt, the Super Samoan. And I tell you what, I, I gave him everything I had, and he just smiled at me and started hitting back. And it, it's definitely the hardest I've ever been. Hit. Big Daddy, how many tattoos do you have? They started off as singles, but now they're just joints. So what really was the first one? Uh, first one was my ex-wife's name across my shoulder, which is now looking at. So. <laughs> and now we see you have quite a lip, quite a lip. Just a, it's just a target, you know. Okay. Something, something to, to talk about. People come up and start conversations.